What if the laws of physics as we know them were entirely different when viewed from a speeding train or an orbiting satellite? What if time and space could shrink or stretch depending on how fast or in what direction you're moving? These questions may sound like the stuff of science fiction, but they're actually fundamental to our understanding of the universe, thanks to a theory known as special relativity. Over a century ago, in the year 1905, a young physicist named Albert Einstein proposed a groundbreaking idea. He suggested that our understanding of time, space, mass, and energy was not fixed, but relative, based on where you are and how fast you're moving. This was a radical departure from the classical physics of Newton, which treated time and space as absolute and unchanging. Einstein's theory of special relativity was built on two key postulates. The first, known as the principle of relativity, states that the laws of physics are the same for all observers in uniform motion relative to one another. There's no such thing as absolute motion or rest, everything is moving relative to something else. The second postulate, equally profound, asserts that the speed of light in a vacuum is the same for all observers, regardless of their motion or the motion of the light source. This means that even if you were racing alongside a beam of light at half its speed, that beam would still be moving away from you at the full speed of light. These postulates lead to some mind-bending consequences. For instance, time can dilate, or slow down, for moving objects. This means that if you were to embark on a high-speed journey through space, and then return to Earth, you would find that less time had passed for you than for the people you left behind. Similarly, objects moving relative to an observer undergo length contraction, appearing shorter in the direction of motion. This is why particles called muons, which should decay in a fraction of a second, are able to reach the Earth's surface from the upper atmosphere. Then there's the famous equation E equals mc squared, which expresses the equivalence of mass and energy. This principle, known as mass-energy equivalence, tells us that mass can be converted into energy, and vice versa. It's the principle that powers the sun, nuclear reactors, and atomic bombs. Finally, there's the relativity of simultaneity, which says that what happens at the same time for one observer might occur at different times for another observer moving relative to the first. Special relativity isn't just a theoretical curiosity, it has practical applications too. It's essential for the operation of the Global Positioning System, or GPS which uses the principles of special relativity to correct for the time dilation and length contraction experienced by satellites. It's also crucial for understanding the behavior of particles at high energies and for modeling the expansion of the universe. In conclusion, special relativity is a powerful and elegant theory that has fundamentally reshaped our understanding of the physical world. It's a testament to the creativity and ingenuity of Albert Einstein, who dared to imagine a universe more strange and wonderful than anyone had thought possible.